Hi there everyone, Kelly Noble Mirabella here and I am excited to introduce you to the new starting step in Flow Builder. Although this seems like just a small change, it is actually a very important first step in the journey of helping you guys complete more in less time by making ManyChat's interface much lighter and much more straightforward. What you have now is the Flow's one single starting point. It means that if you use two growth tools, one SMS keyword, and a couple of rules sprinkled on top that launch one flow, you are now able to see it all in one starting step, listing all of those triggers. With such a single branch view, you get a better understanding of all the automations that fire that flow that you're working on. Not only does it contain all of the triggers, but it also is a convenient entry point for adding any new ones. This subsequently keeps you far more organized as well. Unlike the previous version, the new starting step is no longer a label that you can just drag and drop around and pin to other steps. Something that has a history of confusing builders and making flows not work properly. Now it's a separate entity on the flow builder canvas that you can link to flow steps with a connector and use to connect steps of the flow altogether. Finally, it is worth mentioning that ManyChat has added so many more triggers to the flow builder that are available via the new universal menu. If you were not a fan of the rules feature before, then this is really good news for you. All the triggers are now available inside this universal menu, conveniently organized. Click add trigger in the starting step to call the menu and set up the automation needed. Editing triggers is possible from the sidebar. Now go and build in the new flow yourself to try it out or go take a look at your existing flows with multiple triggers. Note that the non-automated ways of sending the flow, such as broadcast or live chats, are not changed. So you can send any flow with any amount of triggers via those tools. The same as before. Naturally, on the broadcast builder, you will see a simplified version of the starting step containing no extra triggers. Don't forget to tell us what you think about this update in the comments down below. We cannot wait to hear your feedback. Now get out there and start building.